Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the day of the Scorpio super moon. I'm extremely tired. I wasn't planning on doing a reading beyond midnight, but um, then I was just being called to do it. Um, I have a Scorpio moon. It's pretty intense for Scorpio people. Um, other signs as well. Ev everyone really. This is a really heavily charged time. A lot of huge energetic shifts leading up to this Scorpio full moon, super moon tomorrow. And um, so this is just going to be a short reading. I just wanted to kind of tap into um, these energies and see what's coming up. So um, hold on one second, just want to take care of this real quick. All right. So this is going to be the Tarot of the Divine. We've got the Moonology, Oracle of the Mermaids, and Art through the Star Stream. Just being called to use these four decks. So let's get some overall energies for this Scorpio full moon. I'm not going to do any reversals, okay? So if I get them, we've got four of wands. You know, um, you know what, I'll get into that after I pull these three cards. The moon. Well, <laughs> there we go. Confirmation. Wow, you guys. This is very positive. So I feel like you've been doing a lot of purging. A lot of painful things have maybe happened leading up to this full moon. But it's all leading to a place where you're going to be having a connection with someone that comes from, first, a place of self-love a place of self-acceptance, a place of peace within, and you're going to finally have, it's like you had to let go of those final last things in order to have this union, this union with self, this union with this person, okay, and this deep understanding of yourself in order to have this, because if you would have not passed these tests, these lessons of self-love and understanding yourself you would go into this dynamic and it wouldn't really end up lasting because there would still be barriers within you to even understanding yourself in such a divine connection this is really really beautiful i feel like this is for people who've really done the self-reflection you know that's what this moon is is really looking at your reflection not deflecting, okay, not um, taking every scenario and as an opportunity to stay stuck, but to, to illuminate your path, illuminate yourself, to grow, to expand, to tell the universe, I am ready for this ultimate love. My heart is open. I'm choosing love. I'm choosing understanding. I'm choosing illumination, and I'm ready for my partner to come in here, okay? So that's really, really beautiful. I love that. Let's get some from the Moonology deck. It's hard because I'm holding this with my hand. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon in Leo. So I feel also we're being called to make really bold moves. To be confident in ourselves and our decisions and our instincts. Okay? To know to know what we know and to be confident about it all right communication is key new moon in gemini you guys could be a gemini you could be a leo you could be dealing with a gemini or leo but it doesn't necessarily have to be look at this i just said that be bold and make the first move it's all about your confidence so if there's something you've been sitting on you might need to make some sort of communication to someone cardinal is also cancer capricorn libra and aries Okay, cardinal moon. We don't even have the super moon here, but these are just important energies that I feel like are coming up with this super moon. Okay, so take these as they resonate. Beautiful. All right. What does the oracle of the mermaids want to say? Ermana, wonder, wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. That's what that moon card was all about. If you guys have been feeling like you're journeying through these waters of your soul, you're facing these things. But look, the dolphin is here. That is unconditional love. 
you, you haven't been alone. You've had unconditional love. You've had the support of the universe. You've had benevolent energies and beings around you all the time. So it's like, I guess she kind of could see that fin, but not necessarily, but it's with her. Okay, that's what's beautiful about that card. Transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. All right, so that's also what I was getting about um, the other energies. What was it? The communication, okay? Just follow your heart. Be honest. Don't be afraid. Be yourself, okay? Be at one with what feels right with yourself. That's what this new super moon is. This full moon is about that um, being bold, okay? Super moons are obviously very bold. Look at this. The mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Staying confident in that you guys have done the work. You guys have looked at yourself. Not everyone has, but if this is resonating with you, you've seen yourself through your situations. You've used every scenario as a way to gain more self-knowledge and you're ready to go to this next phase. All right, that's so beautiful. All right, let's end with the art through the star stream. I don't use this deck very often, but I had it for a long time. We've got Believe in Spontaneous Healing, the healing of Avalon, right? You see that horse? That could resonate with you guys. That cup is kind of like that Ace of Cups, so allow and invite that healing to believe in that. Believe that things can miraculously heal out of nowhere. Things could have been really tough the last week, the last year, the last few years, but believe that things can shift overnight. Obstacles are being removed from your path. The elephants here could resonate with you guys. I love that because I feel like that's like saying you've kind of released all that. You've worked through that this week. And I'm getting a lot of spirit animals in this reading. Elephants, dolphins, very soulful, emotionally connected creatures, horses being wild and free here. Okay. And we've got disconnect, go underground for a while. The hope prophecy. You know, if you had to disconnect from maybe your tribe or people that relied on you or people you were relying on, it's okay right now. It's okay to disconnect. It's okay. You can go your own way. That's the song that's coming through right now, actually. I'm going to pull one more. Don't take anything for granted. The Great King. Okay, this is kind of like almost reminds me of like a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But this is also saying, you know, all these lessons, nothing has been in vain. It's all been useful for you. Every aspect of your journey, even if you feel like it wasn't that desirable, don't, you know, just treasure everything, treasure every step along the way, even the hard times. Um, you know, just the, the sword to me is also like clarity of mind. So keep your mind clear, keep your vib vibration clear, okay? All right, guys, that's your reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. Happy super moon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.